Hello folks, you're listening to the Game Week 1 review of the Kev Stratton Invitational for the 2023-2024 season with myself, Kev Stratton, and my co-host today, Cherry Hingston. Silent. Cherry's not quite as confident as doing this, okay. <laughs> necessarily. Let's take a look at what happened in our first game week. Forgive me, a little low tech, going to just move the phone. Uh, if you hear cracking in the background, don't worry, it's just a chimney. The house isn't on fire so far as we know. So, looking at the first week, it did have a very familiar feel to it, didn't it? We have Darren Burns, who, I'm sorry, Meg, gets manager of the week. The reason being, uh, because Darren's captain had 10 points, sorry, his vice captain had 10 points, which was Saka and Meg, your vice captain, Mo Salah, only had five. It's very sorry about that. Um, uh, Dad was quite right with the statistics. Uh, six points covered first place to eighth place, which is very tight. And then there's a little bunch up again with uh, Andy Pullen, Richard, and then there's a little drop off to Mike, uh, last season's runner up Pete, and then Crispin. And then the bottom three, uh, with three generations of women in the uh, Hingston slash Stratton family, uh, with uh, Carol uh, in uh, 14th place, Cherry in 15th, and the kids in 16th place. So at least Cherry didn't get the coveted wooden spoon for the first week. Uh, you'll see this season from what I'm just about to post uh, with the various statistics that I'm going to keep, which is quite minimal this year, keeping it very, very, very uh, small. But I'll keep a record of the overall top scores, uh, differentiating, differentiating whether it's a double game week or not, because that does make a wee bit of a difference. Uh, if nothing, only in bragging rights. Um, how many manager of the week awards you get. Um, what our individual top scores are going through the season, um, how many low scores you get, and then what the overall lowest individual score is each week. Uh, we also had uh, this week our first um, outside of FPL Cup competition, uh, which was the KSA Charity Shield, which was between the league winners last season, uh, the two-time champions, Darren Burns, and this season's team haven't jot a clue. I've already given you a round of applause for a very clever title. Uh, not quite as good as Onana's in pyjamas, I'd like to point out, but, you know, I'm a bit biased than that. And it was a close, uh, close run thing, but by the end of the first round of fixtures on the Saturday, it became clear with the players left to play that Darren probably had this one nipped, and he did indeed, barring Onana scoring a hat-trick. Um, so it was 75 points to 80 points. Uh, well done, Darren. You get the first piece of silverware of the season. You were actually the holder of the Charity Shield. So you're now a two-time Charity Shield champion, a two-time league champion, a FPL uh, League Cup champion, and also a Champions League champion. Um, yes, that, that, that does mean as of last season, you actually did win nearly everything available. You'll have to wait until the 20, Euro 2024 for the Predictor League and see if you can manage to do that. Or you have to have a really bad season and join the Conference League next year. I think we're all in favour of that happening. Sorry, mate. Um, what else have we got going on? So I've said about the wooden spoon. Oh, we have the European competitions this season. European competitions, very little in it at the moment, but that will continue throughout the whole season. So I'll do maybe an update in a few weeks' time. Anyone know what the average entrant is in the Conference League. They've just appeared in there and I wonder if it's some sort of... I think it's because... I've just thought about it. I think it's because there's not an even number of teams in there. So I think you play against the average of the league if you happen to not have an opponent that week. I've just figured that out. It's a bit strange. We'll see how that goes as the, as the season continues. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the first week of Fantasy Football League. Top news we've seen this week is um, every man and his dog's been sold to Saudi Arabia. Some bloke who used to be good called Neymar is included in that. And anyone who's got um, Timber of Arsenal, congratulations. He's done his ACL today, so he's out for about seven months. And he'll join Kevin De Bruyne on the uh, long list of injury absentees. And well done everyone who uh, managed to avoid keeping Harry Kane uh, apparently he's doing something in some farmers league in Europe now, so best of luck to him. I'll see you next week for Game Week 2's Roundup. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from Cherry. Maybe she'll have a voice next week. Never know. We don't know. <laughs>